What is up YouTube? This is Ali from AW Pixotic. I'm back with another amazing video for you guys. Back with another banger. So today we are talking about six epic gimbal shots and how to take them. This is going to be a demonstrative tutorial in which I'm going to use the drone's remote controller to demonstrate how the shot is going to be taken and the shot is going to be visible inside the video for you guys to learn from. If you guys are new to the channel, do leave a like, do subscribe and turn on those bell notification icons if you haven't done so already. Why? Because not a lot of you guys are subscribed to the channel. Do subscribe, it's going to help me a lot. Let's get you straight inside today's video coming up with shot number one. Right, so we're talking about shot number one that is the simple push in on the drone in which the drone is moving forwards gently revealing the scene or adding to the shots that you've already taken it's very very simple to pull this kind of a shot now how you pull this off you use the right joystick on the drone remote control to pull the shot off you push forward on the right joystick that allows the drone to move forward and get that beautiful shot now in this particular shot the altitude is a total personal choice you can keep the drone high you can keep the drone in the mid you can keep the drone really low depending on the shot that you're trying to take all right just to add a little more dynamism to the push and shot you can combine two or three motions to create a better shot uh, you can push in and rise up at the same time this gives beautiful awesome results how to pull this off it's very very simple uh, use the right joystick on the drone controller and push it forwards also use the left joystick and push it forward push both the joysticks forward the left joystick forward motion is going to allow the drone to rise up whereas the right joystick's forward motion is going to allow the drone to move forward right guys another variation to the simple push in shot is the push in tilt up All right you're pushing the drone in and tilting the camera up at the same time to get an amazing shot how to pull this off simply use the right joystick on the gimbal controller and push it forward and use the gimbal control dial available on the controller to tilt the camera up to get this beautifully amazing shot Right guys, moving on to shot number two, which is the simple pullback in which the drone is moving backwards from the subject or the scene. These types of shots are used to bring closure to the scene or the video that you are trying to create or can be used to reveal a subject that's present behind the drone. To pull this off, simply use the right joystick on the controller and push back the right joysticks to pull the shot off. When we talk about drone shots, it's all about variations, it's all about interesting angles, it's all about different perspectives that you can, you know, pull off in the air. I mean, you're in the air, <laughs> there's no stopping. Use these endless possibilities to bring that interest inside your shots. Uh, now, to add a little more variation to the simple pull back is that you pull back and rise up at the same time. How to pull this off? It's very simple. Use the right joystick and pull back on the right joystick so that the drone starts moving backwards push the left joystick forward get that altitude gain the drone is going to move back and gain altitude at the same time giving you beautiful results now guys another variation that works with the pullback is the pullback tilt up in which the drone pulls back and the camera and the gimbal are tilting up slowly revealing the scene in front of it how to pull this off you ought to use the right joystick and push back on the right joystick to allow the drone to move back and use the gimbal control dial available on the controller to slowly tilt the camera up to reveal the scene that is either in front of the drone or behind the drone an amazing shot trust me Right, the next shot is one of my favorite shots on a drone and it's called the orbit or the hero shot in which the drone is 
rotating around the subject from in either a clockwise or in an anti-clockwise manner. An amazing shot, this shot is used by Hollywood directors and filmmakers to create dynamism to the movie or the scene that they are creating. The subject is fully centered and the drone is slowly rotating around the subject. A beautiful shot. How to pull this off? It's very, very simple. You ought to use both the joysticks on the controller. Push both the joysticks inwards to get an anti-clockwise motion and push both the joysticks outwards to get a clockwise motion. It's a beautiful shot. Do experiment with the orbit in your drone videos, guys. Right, the next shot is a simple rise up and reveal in which the drone is pretty close to a subject. It can either be a building, a tree or a mountain range or whatever. The drone is rising up and it rises up. It reaches the top of the particular subject to reveal the scene behind it. It's a beautiful shot if pulled off correctly. All you ought to do in order to execute this shot is to use the left joystick on the DJI controller and just push forward. Pushing forward on the left joystick is going to allow the drone to increase the altitude and finally reveal the scene that's behind it. Check the shot out guys. Right. The next beautiful shot that we are going to talk about is the side track in which the drone is tracking the subject from a side and moving either left or right. Now the drone's motion can be supplemental, it can move with the subject or against the subject. To pull this off, just position your drone at an altitude and a side distance from your subject and start tracking. Use the right joystick on the controller to pull this one off. Push the right joystick left or right depending on the motion that you are trying to track and pull the shot off. These tracking shots can be used to track moving subjects which can be cars, people uh, walking on bridges or perhaps nice landscape scene in which a side track shot is necessary. A beautiful shot if executed correctly. Right guys, the last shot on today's list is the bird's eye view in which the drone gains altitude. This is the particular shot that which, for which drones are designed. It gives a very new and different perspective to the shots that you're trying to create. It's a perspective through which not many people can see the landscape of the view that you were shooting. To pull this off, the, let the drone gain a certain altitude. Depends on the subject, how much area you're trying to capture. If you're trying to capture a beautiful, a beautiful clump of trees, take the drone really high and use the gimbal controller on the drone to tilt the camera completely down in a bird's eye view angle. That's gonna give amazing results. Now you have various options once the gimbal is pointing downwards and the drone has gained its required altitude, you can play with the drone. You can let the drone remain static, uh, let the drone stay there and let nature do its job or, to, or whatever subject is you know moving or uh, the trees, let them do the job, let the drone stay static. Or you can add a bit of motion to the shot to add more dynamism. What you can do is you can either come down, reduce the altitude or go up increase the altitude to add that you know mix to the shot another variation of the bird's eye shot could be that you are rising up and rotating at the same time this is a beautiful shot if pulled correctly how to execute it is very very simple you simply point the camera downwards start the drone from a low angle gently take it up gently start taking the drone up using the left joystick and pushing forward that's going to increase the altitude now to add a rotation to the shot use the left joystick stick and either pull inwards or outwards that's gonna start rotating the drone. A bonus tip for you guys is that never go too harsh or too hard on the drone controls that's gonna add that erratic motion inside your video which is not gonna look good. When it's about drones it's always about smooth cinematic motion. Now to pull that off go easy and slow on the controls guys. So these were six epic 
gimbal shots for you guys to practice and work with inside your videos do test them out take your drone out and test these shots out and let me know in the comments how you felt what are the other variations that you guys uh you know executed uh, this is ali from aw Exotica. i'll be coming up with a lot of new banging videos very very soon for you guys in the end again do subscribe a lot of you guys are not subscribed it's really gonna help me really gonna help this channel this is ali signing off for now see you in another video really 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 soon bye bye for now